All right, YouTube. Uh, quick little video. Installed the high uh, high output alternator from JS uh, Alternators. Uh, this one is a 250. Uh, when it comes to installing this one, I thought it was supposed to be just a, you know, basically kind of like a stock swap, just you know, stock replacement. Just unbolt the old one, take it out, put this one in, bolt it back up, boom, bada bing. No, nah, it's not. wasn't that simple. At least for me, it wasn't. And this is on the 89 Caprice. So, as you can see, I had to change this boat out. This was just a boat that I, I found laying around the shop that just so happened to be the right thread because the original boat that come out of there, which was, do, 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 where is it at? Oh, it's right here. So, this is the original one right here. And it didn't work, so that's what was in here when I bought the car. This was a star one. This one right here. This one comes out of the 93 over there, because they both got the same 305 uh, TBI motor. And so this one come out, out, out of that uh, alternator over there, and it didn't even work. Uh, now, also, what I had to modify was, let me zoom out some, the radiator hose, upper radiator hose. I actually had to take the radiator hose and the thermostat housing off of the 93 because this is how the, the 93 it routes behind the alternator versus the 89 actually routed right over the alternator and it was it was hitting the stud right here so which is uh, one of these yep so this how this how it, it routes and it was laying because the the housing comes out at an angle just like that there and as you can see it was it, it was it's not hitting it now because it's wiring away but it was hitting the stud so and if you leave it like that it's going to eventually rub a hole in the radiator hose and you're going to be leaking coolant so i had to take the upper radiator hose upper thermostat i mean the thermostat housing off of a 93 chevrolet caprice and it worked because this one wraps behind it and right now still a work in progress so that's why i'm still taking parts off of it you know if i want to to get this one going well this one runs pretty goddamn good but i was doing the alternator upgrade because the electric fans pull a lot of goddamn uh, power uh with that old stock bullshit ass alternator i had on here which it was a brand new one that i had bought it it didn't do justice unless i was unless i had my foot on the gas driving man if i'm just sitting at the stoplight or just sitting here in the driveway island when those fans kick on you could just watch that voltmeter drop down so yeah i had to upgrade the alternator uh i was gonna ls swap this car but man i'm not run too fucking good good ass goddamn motor uh, it's junky under here now because I got shit taken apart and I got tools and shit everywhere. But I mean, this 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 is a damn good ass motor and transmission, man. Seventy three thousand miles on it, run like a fucking sewing machine. Did a little work to it, tuned up, you know, all the full tune up to it, changing out, you know, sensors, spark plugs, and everything, and all that gaskets and stuff, man. And this motherfucker runs like a champ. So I'm not even going, I'm not going to LS swap. And if I do LS swap, and I'm, I'm going to keep this motor in transmission because I don't, there's no reason for me to get rid of it. Uh, do a quick little update on this one. This one, as you can see, had a little fire up under the hood, burnt the scribbling and stuff. But I ain't worried about that. I already got a whole nother wire harness for this car that hadn't been cut or anything. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, this is the, the wire harness. This is it right here. This is the one that, that I went and got right here off of another car. Uh, but I'm actually, I found out after the fact when I was laying up under the car doing some work that the fucking block is cracked. The guy I bought it from didn't tell me that. But yeah, it has a big old crack on the side of the block, so... I got a 350 TBI that I'm pulling out of a 87 pickup that's going off in here. Just got to pull it out of there and then pull this on up out of there and swap them over. But 
Yeah. All right, you too.